there's a few things that you can do up front to make sure that you don't have issues when airplaying with Apple TV. Uh, first thing you can do is make sure that all of your devices are up to date. That includes making sure your Apple TV is up to date, uh, as well as your laptop or iPad that you are mirroring from. You can update your Apple TV by using the settings app. Another suggestion is to always try to use Safari whenever possible instead of Chrome. Um, Apple makes AirPlay, uh, they make the devices, and they make Safari. And so by default, they typically make sure that all three of those things are gonna work really well together. Uh, whereas Chrome, since it's a third-party tool uh, made by Google, is kind of out of that loop. And so sometimes there have been known issues in the past with Google Chrome and AirPlay not playing nice together. So another tip is when AirPlaying video, uh, you want to make sure that if at all possible, you do not AirPlay your entire screen. Um, only AirPlay the video itself if possible, and you can do that if the video has an AirPlay icon in the video window itself. Not all videos do. Most on YouTube are going to have that button, and if you click on that button to AirPlay, instead of AirPlaying your entire screen, it sends less information to your television at one time, and the less information being sent, the better chance of it playing smoothly. Now, if you're still having issues after that, um, then the first thing I would tell you to try is to reboot the Apple TV. Um, the easiest way to do that is by simply uh, looking for that black box on your uh, television stand. And on the back, you're gonna see two cables. The cable closest to the edge, it has kind of a grayish black color to it. Um, that cable is your power cord. And you can simply unplug it from the back of the Apple TV Wait a few seconds and then plug it back in again, and that will force your Apple TV to reboot. If that doesn't work, then I would tell you to reboot the device you're airplaying from, whether it be your laptop or your iPad. Typically, one of those two things is going to fix your issue. Now, this next option may be kind of unpopular, but um, if possible, close any of your unused tabs. So sometimes when you have multiple tabs open at once, um, some of those other unused tabs are still using up internet, even though they're not active. So um, if at all possible, close up any tab that you are not using. And the final option um, for video specifically is to install the YouTube app on your Apple TV. Um, you can actually install that app and sign in with your Google account and be able to share files from your YouTube library or things that you've searched on YouTube, um, being able to share those on your Apple TV directly without having to use AirPlay at all. Uh, if you need more help with that, I have another video in the description below that shows you how to set that up. So hopefully one of these options will help and make sure that you have the best AirPlay experience possible.